Hey, this is Adam from Ads Productions, and this is the unboxing of the Corsair Qatar FPS MOBA gaming mouse. So you've just got a pretty basic box. Nothing really to it. Let's just take the ceiling off. I hope you guys enjoy my uh, amazing camera setup I've got here. So at the moment, the tripod or the gorilla pod, the mini one for the iPhone, is is on my laptop screen. So if I do this, it's going to move. Yeah, very very professional. I'm I'm looking for a job in filmmaking. Please hire me. No, I'm not really. Okay, so let's take these. Come on, Adam, you can do it. There we go. Okay, so we've taken the seals off. That took t way too long. And we take it out of the and fail there. Let's just take. Come on. Okay. So we've got that. We've got some yellow. Was that just the poor lighting? No, it's the yellow box. So let's take it out. Da -da -da. And that's there's nothing in there, so that can just be thrown away. Now we've got this yellow, weird-looking box that looks like it's you know, like SpongeBob when he comes out of the water. Now I'm not going to make that reference. Okay, so oh, so inside the weird yellow box, first of all, we've got the manual that we're all going to read and read every single page of, including the languages that I'm definitely fluent in. So that can just go away. And then in this little compartment, oh, okay, what's this then? Let's just move the mouse to the side, if it's going to let me. Yep, let's move it to the side. Because obviously you guys don't care about the mouse. You care about the warranty against defects. The little leaflet that comes in there. A review of this is coming soon. No, I'm kidding. That can go away. What else is in here? Warranty guide. Okay, that's no more reading material for you there. So that's one of these. One of these comic books. So that can go away, this can go away, and here we have the mouse. So on first impression, so to take it out of its strange hieroglyphed plastic packaging, and we have the mouse here. Okay, so firstly let's start from the bottom, starting from the bottom now we're here. No, Adam, please don't ever do that again. Okay, I won't. So we've got a yellow tipped USB cable that's definitely going to stand out when it's plugged into your machine. Actually looks pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. And then let's take off this. Sorry for the scratching noise, that's against the desk. Again, another high quality production. Keep going, keep going, come on. Just taking these annoying uh, wrap, tie wraps or whatever they're called off. These little buggers. I hate them. Anyway, so now let's stretch the cable out. So here we've got the mouse itself. On first impression, you've got the Corsair logo, Corsair branding here, just in case, again, you forget the mouse that you're using as you're using it. Because I've got slightly bigger hands anyway. Um, it actually feels, it seems like a very small mouse, at least in comparison to the one I currently have, the um, £3,000 Logitech Pro mouse. Although, no, it's pretty much identical. Okay. Yeah, so there's the... Uh, my mouse, sorry, what did I just say there? There's my mouse that I'm currently using. This is Corsair's mouse. Let's flip them over. Of course, it's going to go the opposite way. The Logitech one looks a bit boring. So does that one, to be fair. You don't really look at, you're not really on your machine looking at your mouse, are you? Or the underside of it, anyway. So, yeah, obviously, this mouse has a scroll wheel. This one has a scroll wheel as well. You've also got a button here which I'm guessing is programmable because I have, this is literally a first impression. Me, I've, you know, I've not even read the book. I've not even looked at the box and looked at the features. So we've got the programmable thing here. I'm guessing you can map this to a, like an action in a game or whatever, which I'm not going to be doing because I'm going to be using it for just everyday use. I just thought I'd get a cool mouse because I've got a half decent keyboard. So that's the unboxing of the Corsair Qatar, Qatar, whatever you call it. Hope you enjoyed. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks very much.